Hello there, Taurus. <clears throat> First of all, let me talk to you guys a little bit about relationships. I feel like some of you are dealing here with um, a younger person. So they could be, you know, physically younger in age or their energy is just very buoyant, like a young person. They are very hopeful, enthusiastic, and I feel like they're looking further um, outside of their geographical location when it comes to work when it comes to wanting to implement a big move for themselves professionally and also geographically. I feel like you're dating somebody that whose energy is very uncontained, unrestrained. And I feel like, yes, there is great chemistry between you and this person. It feels almost as if they want more out of life. They want more out of their station. They're looking, broadening their horizons, looking for more opportunities. And so I feel like whenever you're with them, the the fun, the chemistry, the excitement between the two of you, it's very expansive. But a big part of you feels almost as if, am I enough for this person? Are they going to stay around when things get rough? Are they going to be, you know, dependable? I feel like generally they're very honest, straightforward, and dependable. But it feels like they want more out of this. And I feel like the interaction between the two of you it brings up a lot of security issues from your end. As an earth sign, you are somebody who is a little bit more home oriented. You are a little bit more routine oriented. And so when while you're dealing with this person, you do trust them and you I don't feel like there's deceptions or anything like that in the picture. Um, I feel like while you do trust them, it's just very, very difficult for you, the two of you, to kind of like plan a life together, plan a future together, and and you know, to be able to see um yourself in their future and to see them in your future so it's kind of hard to plan the long-term logistics of this relationship and i feel like if you are dealing here with a fire sign so this is a sagittarius and aries or a leo you might be grappling with some of these issues and then for others of you i feel like there is a relationship that you have gotten out of and you are trying to rebuild your foundation you're trying to branch out you're trying to meet new people but it feels to me like you're not yet ready to really jump right in into a new relationship just yet so you're still skirting the issues or you're still kind of like on the fence about do i want to enter another relationship or do i just want to have like non-committal open relationships so i feel like you're still dealing with these um past hurts or a past disappointment from a significant relationship and you might be thinking about the person you might be wanting to revisit it but at the same time, I just feel like you know it's done and over with. Even if you get back together, it's still going to be uh, tenuous. And you feel like, I, and it seems to me like they're not going to be able to give you that commitment that you're hoping for. And it also feels like you have your life a very specific way. And being with that person can be, um, I, I, I almost want to feel like, can make you regress. Can make you, you know, where you have to give up a lot of the things you work really hard for. So if there is, for example, a geographical distance between the two of you, it's not just, you know, wanting to be together. It's like working out how do we logistically stay together? Where do we live? Are you coming to me or am I coming to you? And will you have to put your current career situation on hold? Your career, by the way, is prospering. It's going really, really well. And there is room for you to... Uh, take over a business partnership, have a business on board or a business partner on board, or to greatly expand your empire. And so are you willing to, you know, um, put that on a back burner for now to pursue this relationship? Because I feel like many of you are feeling like it's not enough. You want to pursue your career and you want to be in a position where you are financially independent. And so going back to that relationship, I don't feel that it's going to be conducive for that. There is a great need, I feel, for some of you to really uh, think about, you know, side projects, side gigs that you can be working on. I do feel an element of many of you working with a lot of children. So I feel like you're either mentoring them, teaching them, or, you know, trying to build a structure for them. So I do see a lot of mentors, a lot of counselors, a lot of teachers, and um, I feel a lot of tutors as well. So tutoring, for example, on the side, I feel like that would be a really good income generating side gig for you, for some of you. And then for others of you, I feel like you're, you're doing some type of work that deals with beautification, makeup artists, costume artists, um, you know, stylists, hairstylists, clothing stylists, those things come to mind. 
and interior decorators, especially, or people that remodel homes. So you're, you're beautifying something. And I feel like your work, your handiwork is exceptionally well done. You have like an eye for aesthetics. And so you are in very, very high demand. I do see a lot of people flocking to you and I feel like they're doing it very last minute. And either way, you're in a position where you can pick and choose who you want to work with, who you don't want to work with and what projects will, you know, will really test your skills and will create like uh, opportunities for you to learn new things and to push yourself outside of your comfort zone in order to do something really groundbreaking, really brave and really like, um, I, I want to say like out of the ordinary. So I feel like for many of you, especially in the beautification um, sector, you know, whatever that entails, um, there's a touch of creativity. There's a touch of manual dexterity. There's a touch of like making something from nothing like beautifying something and um, I feel like you are going to be in really high demand and your your energy is going to be heavily focused on work for the next two weeks and so you're not going to really take time to you know entertain love relationship partners or even entertain past relationship partners or new prospects that are coming in but I do feel a very uh, strong energy here relationships that needs to be you know thoroughly re-examine with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, and then an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So those are the two uh, signs I feel coming in your relationship sector. Um, the other thing, and I keep mentioning this for you guys, home environment, something needs to change. Some major, major reassessment when it comes to where you're living, whether or not you're getting enough peace of mind in that home environment. Once again, if you're making the money move out and find try to find a place that is good for you okay and uh i i keep seeing this for the past few months so i don't know what's going on i don't know if you're saving up i don't know if you're trying to like you know um skimp on renting a space or buying a space until you have enough money saved up so you want to do it in one fell swoop that's fine it just feels to me there's a disruptive home environment and you are wanting out you're wanting to have your own space you're wanting to have your own kind of like your own refuge, your own safe haven that you can retreat to. And you know, with a lot of earth signs in general, um, you and Virgos in particular, but also cancers, your home is your haven. So you need to make it as comfortable. It doesn't even need to be luxurious, but it needs to be clean. It needs to be comfortable for you to feel like you can come home and decompress and feel, you, you know, and feel at home and feel rested and feel calm. So that is one of the areas I would urge you to focus on right now. Okay. Money and career looks really, really good. And so having your own space, having that little piece of heaven or haven would be very, very good for you right now. Um, they are mentioning here, um, a little bit of like overindulging, over drinking. If you have a penchant for drinking heavily, I feel like you might want to curb this tendency because things can go awry. So, you know, a lot of the times when we're intoxicated, we don't really know how we behave and we might not know how our actions affect other people. Right. So I feel like something is happening here where I feel like you might be intoxicated and you might say things that are out of line, or you might do something that the other person doesn't approve of. And I feel like it has, <clears throat> they have brought it to your attention, but you might not have taken it seriously. And so this is uh, for the next two weeks to really think about that, to really, you know, see if there's any merit or any truth in that and try to curb the, the drinking, the, the behavior associated with drinking as well. And I feel like that's when you're more able to let loose. And some of these frustrations that you've been holding back on, they might come to the surface and, you know, things can go all right. So I want you to be a little bit careful about that. Okay. But aside from that, I feel like the next two weeks is heavily focused on career and new creative projects that you're undertaking and people that you are taking under your wings to mentor and to guide when, when they, you know, when they, um, to guide so that they, you can get them where they need to be. So we have a lot of good things coming through here for the next two weeks, uh, Taurus. So take care of yourself. Okay. I'll be back in September for the September reading. I actually might do it earlier than September if I uh, have the time for it. Okay. So take care of yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.